Louis Vuitton. I don't have anything to watch because I don't have any fucking internet. Podcast episode 132! 132! Everyone! 132! Guess what? Guess what the fuck, man? It's episode 132, and still, I have no goddamn internet. I have no goddamn internet. So this episode, and episode 131... Is not even uploaded yet for me okay episode 131 is not even up and I'm recording this episode because I have no goddamn internet and we're supposed to get it tomorrow we were supposed to get it last week but the fucker didn't show up and we're supposed to get it tomorrow and I swear to God if that piece of shit doesn't show up I'm gonna kill Janice speaking of which Janice what is this Janice? Janice, here's today's card. It's tradition around here to show you the card, but it's not tradition to show you what's on the card, but you'll find out anyway because I'll talk about it. Janice! She's still going with the can in the cup. Janice, you realize you can open the can and you can pour it in the cup. But I will say I'm glad it's not... Strawberry Perrier. Because I'm sick of that shit. Oops. And Janice, just so you know, you started a fucking trend on the Dynamite Gizmo podcast, okay? Because now we can't continue on with the future episodes without putting a can in the cup. So you've... You've... You've manipulated me and twisted my demands... To fit your own fucking needs. And so now, we have to continue with the can in the mug. Because of you, Janice. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, baby. I almost spilt it all over myself. I like... Crush. This is uh, barely going to fit. This is creme soda. Ah! Cold in the teeth. Janice. Go ahead, Olive. Lay on the pillow. Lay down. (laughs) I put pillows over the vent because you can hear my neighbors and you can smell their food. So I'm like, enough of that shit. Put a pillow over the vent. Suffocate him. Oh. One of these days, I'm going to spill this drink all over my electronics. My Team Trees shirt arrived. Team Trees, everyone. (laughs) Ha ha! I don't have internet, and it's really pissing me off because it's fucking, it's not fun living without internet, okay? We live in 2019. It's damn near impossible to do what you want to do with your life when you don't have the internet. I've done it before in 2016 for a few months, and let me tell you, it was a little bit tolerable because... I had a roommate, and we managed. You know, we would watch DVDs and talk. But now, it's just me and an olive. So, I mean... But plus, I gotta upload my f***ing podcast. How do you do that with no internet? You can't. 
And you could say, well, go to a friend's house. Well, fuck you. For one, fuck you. And for two, you know, I could, I could, yes, I could very easily go to a friend's house and say, yo, bro, can I upload my podcast on your Wi-Fi? And they'd be like, yeah, sure. But then I got to sit there for fucking hours. Because you can't just upload in a few minutes, okay? When you have an hour to two hour long podcast, uh, it does not take a, a, a quick amount of time to upload, okay? It takes fucking hours. Hooers. Okay? You understand, bitch? Get with it. This is not... This is not ideal. You understand? When you got a poop cast, you need the interwebs. And I ain't got them. So, what I've been doing is I would go, to, you know, the, 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 on the weekend I was at my parents' house for reasons that I will not say. And while I was there... I uh, downloaded some me podcast and shit, and I threw them on a th- on a flash drive, cause I knew that I wasn't gonna have internet until tomorrow, and I might not even have internet tomorrow because these fuckers I don't trust them. I don't trust them. They didn't even bother to show up last time they were here. We called them, okay, to get to be like, hey, yo, the DSL lights on. It's all plugged in. Can we run to the diagnostics on the on the fucking uh, IP address? And they're like, yep, let's do that, and it should work. Done did it, nothing. They're like, oh, maybe you got to wait. You know, sometimes, Most times you got to wait 24 hours before it's activated. I'm like, okay, let's do that. Wait 24 hours, nothing happened. Call them again. Say, hey, what's up, bitch? Why isn't my internet working? They say, well... That's because it was uh, the 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 work order was just processed. So we'll run through the diagnostics again and then try it. So I'm like, okay, let's do it. Run through the diagnostics. Nothing happens. So I'm like, okay, what the fuck, bitch? And they're like, okay, wait another 24 hours. So I wait another 24 hours. Nothing happens. I'm like, okay, we're gonna send someone on the 27th. That's tomorrow. Fucking shit show. I've been waiting. I've been waiting, yo. Since I've been waiting a full week. Have you ever gone a full week without internet since internet was invented? No, you haven't. Well, some of you have, but it's not fun. It's the worst. It's been. Couldn't even get that sound bite because I don't have internet. And to use my hotspot sucks up so much unbelievable amount of data, data, real quick, that it's not even worth it. Ugh. It's been, oh, I got a text message. What does it say? From who? Whoa, big one. I'll have to read that one later. It's not important, okay? It's not important, okay? Yeah, last episode I was answering text messages, I know, but that's because I was trying to deal with the internet. (sighs) I keep talking about the internet. I know you're probably sick of that. I I can't can't pull anything up. I can't do anything. I can sit here and I can, you know... (laughs) I didn't mean to do both of them, but I did, and it was kind of a happy accident. You know what else is a happy accident? Let's see if I can find it here in the million bazillion pages of fucking shit. Nope. Is it in here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's the wrong fart. I've got two meh. Did rednecks kill your folks? You remember that one? That's a classic. 
I've been sick for the past three days. The first thing I did this morning was sneeze. Oh, you were pussy. What just happened? There he is. Right hey, what's up, bro? You're a pussy. Just strap on my boots and watch me go. But I can't ski until December. Till then I'm just a sex offender. A sex offender. I'm a... Uh... It's been one week since you looked at me. Stuck my face in a garbage and took a pee. I don't know the lyrics. I don't know the lyrics. <sighs> what do you do when you have no internet? You just have to talk. Good thing. Good thing my podcast doesn't revolve around internet stuff. Oh, wait. Yes, it does. But back in the day, it didn't. Back when I first started this shit, it was just talk. And you know what? Most podcasts are that. But they integrate a little bit of uh, research. And, um, you know, internet is involved. You talk about something you don't know what you're talking about. You, you whip open the internet. And you say, Google, Google this for me. And it does. I have some stuff on here to talk about. I do. But I got nothing to show you. So we're just going to fucking talk about it. First things first, Cybertruck. You know I was going to talk about that. We all do. Do you love it or do you hate it? Or are you undecided, you piece of shit? Me, my first initial reaction, when I saw that truck roll out onto the stage, I said to myself, God damn, I love it. I love it, okay? And then uh, a few hours passed, still loved it. Day passed, still love it. <laughs> Another day passed. I still love it, okay? I still love it. I like it. I love it. There's too many people out there hating on this truck, saying it looks like a DeLorean, a warthog from Halo, which it does, but it's different. And it's cool, and I like it. I love it. Well, I wouldn't buy one. Even if I had the money, I wouldn't buy one. Why, you may ask? Well, there's a long waiting period to get the thing. And second, it's still the first truck that they produced. I want to let them, you know, try some, try some things out first. And then I'll be like, okay, maybe I'll buy what they have out, what they have coming out next. Tesla is changing the game of the automobile industry. Do you understand? Okay, they're going to dominate. I predict that Tesla in the future is just going to be, or is going to be the main vehicle source there's not going to be Ford. Okay. I don't know what I'm talking about, obviously. But I'm changing my I'm changing my thought process here for a second. Okay, maybe there will be Ford and Chevy and and <sighs> the other stuff. Okay? Uh N Nissan, Nissan, Hyundai, Toyota. Maybe they'll all still exist. But they're all going to be electronic, electric. No more of this fossil fuel bullshit. We have the technology, my friend. We have the, how can, people don't see it. They look and they say Tesla's shit. Uh, because it takes forever to charge. And you can only go so many miles. And it's like, yeah, but look. Look at how far we've come. We couldn't have done this 20 years ago, 10 years ago. We can do it now. 
Imagine how far we're going to be in another 10 years with this technology. People get so hung up on the fact that, you know, when technology's in its beginning stages and it's kind of shitty, they don't see the potential. No one sees the fucking potential. They just shit on it. I'm talking specifically where I'm from. I'm in, I live in Al- Alberta, okay? The oil field capital of fucking North America. No, not really, but of Canada for sure. All these motherfuckers care about is farming and oil. That's all they fucking care about, dude. It's unbelievable. I'm talking about the rural parts, which is the majority of Alberta. That's where I'm stuck. I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. I don't belong here. I don't. I need to get on a bus and drive to wherever. Somewhere. A city. I need to go to a big city and be like, hey, good looking. And, you know, (laughs) I just can't stand the people who don't accept future technology. The boomers. They gotta go. We gotta get rid of these boomers, my friend. My guy. These boomers gotta go. Kill them. Kill them with fire. (laughs) Fuck you, boomers. What do you know? Nothing. You don't know anything. You just fucked it all up and say you, you liked it that way. Because it was uh, it was okay when you were a child, yeah. It was okay when you were a child, wasn't it? Okay, you could dump used oil on the ground. You could uh, uh, drink exhaust fumes and feel fine. Dip your dick in some Varsol. And you're like, hey, I did it when I was a kid and I'm fine. Well, no, you know what? Take a look at yourself, my friend, Mr. Boomer. You're not that okay, all right? You say you're okay because you're not feeling any side effects, but if you really look deep down inside, I'm sure there's something fucked up with you. Just because it was okay when you were a kid doesn't mean it's okay now, all right? It was okay when you were a kid because it was still the beginning stages, all right? When you do it over and over long enough, those fossil fuels add up. I don't know what I'm talking about. But Tesla. Tesla. Elon himself. Just Elon. Is incredible. SpaceX. PayPal. Tesla. (laughs) The boring company. This guy. Is the fucking human being we need. We need him. No one sees it. People see it. But there's a lot of people who don't. A lot of people who don't care. I hear it so often. Like, why do we need electric cars when we, you know, perfectly fine with petrol? It's like, come on, man. We found a cleaner alternative. Even Even if fossil fuels weren't affecting the environment, why wouldn't we move to electric? It's so, it's just so much easier and better, and faster. Yeah, we can't get as far as we can on a fucking fossil fuel engine. But like I said, it's the beginning fucking stages. Do you really think the first cars could make it as far as they do today? No. People on horseback and carriages were like, hey, I heard they're making a fucking horseless carriage. How insane is that bullshit? gonna get rid of jobs and blah 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 okay it's the same it's the same thing over and over again every few decades people complain about the new technology because they think it's gonna get rid of jobs and and it's gonna make everything worse and it's like blah 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 just shut your mouth and accept the fucking change it's inevitable And it's here. And it's beautiful. And it's coming no matter what you think, boomer. 
So all you boomers out there who are who are being boomy, just 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 accept it. You know, every fucking generation hates the previous generation. And the new generation goes so far against the previous generation that it's it just happens over and over again, but no one looks at it that way. They're stuck in the past. Get out of the past, bitch. Live in the future with your cyber trucks. Because Tesla is taking over. And so is SpaceX. We're going to go to Mars in our cyber trucks. <sighs> Team Trees. They are at. They went from team team trees. The team trees initiative. You know what it is. I don't need to explain this shit. You know, and if you don't know, go look it up because you you obviously are not part of the internet. If you don't know what team trees is, or at least YouTube. Um. They when he when when Mr. Beast and Mark started this endeavor. They went from like zero trees to 10 million in a few days. And now we're up to about 15 million or 16. And it's kind of stuck there. The hype has died down. And they want 20 million by January 1st. I think he needs to get this bandwagon fucking up and running. It's slowed down. The bandwagon has slowed down. Almost to a complete halt. No one's talking about it. No one's donating anymore. We need more big donations. Go after Jeff Bezos. You already got Elon. You already got uh, Jack Dorsey and and Susan with chicka chicka wacka wacka wuku. <laughs> and so you know a bunch of other people. Get, get Bezos. Bezos can finish it off. You know? I only got five million left to go or some shit. I don't remember what the exact number is because I don't have internet. I have a phone. I don't have internet. I have internet on my phone, but I'm not going to look it up. Let's look it up. You can't see what I'm looking up, so uh, does it matter? Does it matter? Okay, what is it? What is it? What am I looking up? Team Trees. Team Trees. Dot I was, I started following uh, this Team Trees bot on Twitter. You know, the bots. It finds people who tweet about Team Trees and retweets it or whatever. Anyway, someone was getting fucked in the ass by a dildo. And they put hashtag Team Trees in the tweet. And the bot retweeted it. So that was cool. Yeah, we're at 16,227,125. So that's it's been at that number. It's been at 16 million for a while now. When are we going to get up? We need more. We need more trees, my friend. Sorry, that was loud. That was loud. You'd be safe with Tubby, little ginger cunt. Tubby. That's Ricky Gervais. Uh, what's his name? What's that guy's name? Louis C.K. What am I saying? What is that guy's name? Louis C.K. He was one of my favorite comics of all time. All right, his show called Louie, fantastic show. Obviously, he's been having a lot of flack over the past few years because of what he did. Uh, I don't care about any of that. I still love him as a comic, and apparently his new stuff that he's been working on is beautiful. Hasn't released it on anywhere. He's just been doing comedy clubs. <coughs> I want to see it. I want to see it, boy. 
can't though. I don't live in America. And he's not coming to Canada, I don't think. And even if he is, it's going to be far away from wherever I live. So, <sighs> but it's, it'd be worth it. It'd be worth it. If he came to Canada, I'd consider going. I'm not even. Is he have? Does he have? He doesn't have Twitter, does he? If he does, I'm not following him, which I should be. Team Trees gonna get me some knees. What are we at here? What does that say? 26? I think so. I speak French. I speak French. No, I don't. No, I don't. So don't ask. There. Oh, speaking of Twitter. Speaking of Twitter. There's a person or a, you know, uh, there's someone you should follow on Twitter called The Last Blockbuster, okay? Because there's one blockbuster left on this fucking planet. It's somewhere in the United States. Can't remember where. I don't have internet, so I can't look it up. And I'm not using my phone, so don't even ask me. But it's it's interesting. I follow them on Twitter. They post stuff every once in a while. There was a little bit of a scare that they were going to get shut down, but they didn't. I miss Blockbuster. You know, I sound like a, a, a boomer talking about fossil fuels, but... It's just the memories, you know? Memories. When you have a good memory about something, and it goes away, and it's something you can never get back... That's the that's the that's the heartbreaking part. It's like, oh man, because I remember back in the day. We all remember. You go to Blockbuster. It was like. It was a it was a, it was a whole ordeal. You're like, should we rent a movie? Should we rent a video game? Like, yeah, that's exciting. You can't just go home and stream something. You had to. Make plans to drive to Blockbuster. Then you go in and it's like, oh my god, look at this place. It just feels... It felt great in there. You walk in. You're like, well, where do we start? Should we get a horror? Should we get a comedy? Oh! oh. <laughs> but the video games specifically, though. Renting video games... Because you, whenever you would go, you'd go with your parents and a friend. And usually it was a friend who was sleeping over. And you're like, let's write a video game. It's like, yeah. So you go there and you don't have any knowledge of any of the games other than what it says on the back of the box. Or if you already played the game before. So sometimes you'd go there and you'd be, you'd be looking through all the games and you'd have to carefully choose a specific game, one that looked fun by the package. And you could get home and you could be extremely disappointed. Extremely. Because it was not at all what you expected. Then you're like, fuck, well we gotta we might as well play it. We play, we paid for this. And then sometimes you're just like, it's not that fun it's so not fun that I'm just not gonna play it. Because video games back in the day, like the Super Nintendo and sixty four a lot of those games weren't the best. A lot were, but a lot weren't, okay? They put, especially on the Super Nintendo, they pushed out just so many games from, and the NES, they just push out games like crazy from from everywhere. That some games were just rip-offs of other games, and, you know, but then you'd get a good game, like, Mario Party. You know you could never go wrong with Mario Party. That was usually the one I would go to because I didn't trust myself. I was like, I don't want to get a game and then not like it. So I generally just get Mario Party. Or, I don't know, some other shit. But Blockbuster was great, man. It felt good. And then if you did rent a movie... 
you're like, okay, this is it. This is the movie. And then you could get popcorn there. You could get candy. And then you put it in the bag and pay for it. And you go home. You're like, okay, this is it. This is the moment. And then sometimes even the movie was shitty. But there was times where it was good. And then you had a good moment. And then the cool, the other cool thing about Blockbuster is you don't even have to put the movie. You don't have to bring the movie or game back inside the store. There was a slot. You could lift up on the outside of the store, drop the movie in, and it would go down the chute back into the store. You didn't. The store didn't even have to be open. You could plop that bitch in there any any time. I often wonder how much stuff people would just throw in there. Cause you could throw anything in there. You could piss in there. You could shit in there. It'd be hard. Oh, you could shit in your hand and then kind of smoosh it in there. I wonder if that's ever happened. It had to have, right? It's just like an open hole. I'm sure people pissed and shit in there before. Right? Just strap on my boots and watch me go. Yeah. A little hungry. Too bad I don't have the internet. Because the internet can cure my hunger. Can you do that? Oh, yeah. How's the pillow? Way down. Uh, uh, you like that? Um, I guess one other thing I'll talk about is MKBHD. Y'all know him. He's got a brand new series coming December. <sighs> I wish I had the internet so I could look this up. December 2nd, I think. I don't have internet. I swear to God, if I don't get internet by tomorrow, I will literally punch a hole in every wall in this house I will burn it to the ground and I will start to kill anyone that steps in my way what kind of world do we live in now where we can't live without the internet I'm conditioned to have the access to the internet This is how this is how Lego people have to live. Oh, can't fit. MKB MKB MKBHD. He has a new series coming December second, I think, called Retro Tech. He's going to discuss Retro Tech. Such as those big fucking phones that were the size of a, a brick with a antenna that was twice as long. He's going to talk about old video game consoles. He's going to talk about old TVs. He's going to talk about old whatever the fuck. Retro tech. I'm pretty excited because that guy is entertaining to watch. He is a guy who is young and who started from nothing. I don't mean he's a piece of shit poor person. I mean, I'm not saying pe pe poor people are pieces of shit. <laughs> what I'm saying is, he was just a guy who started making YouTube videos, started reviewing whatever he had around him. And look where he's at now. Y'all can do this, my friend. I'm trying to do this, you see? It's consistency and dedication. Like I always say, if you want to be a YouTuber, you can fucking do it. But you gotta commit. You gotta commit to a schedule, at least one video a week, unless you don't have internet like I do. You gotta to dedicate yourself to the content, whatever it is that you decide that you think you need to make. You do it, no matter what. But you have to want it. This is what I want. Okay? 
Don't just say to yourself one day, oh, I could do YouTube. You have to fucking want that shit. I want this. I've wanted it since the fucking moment I discovered it. And I was young. You gotta know what you want. If this is what you want, then do it. Just like fucking Shia LaBeouf says. Just do it! I don't want to scream too loud. Because I don't have internet. Can't scream without internet, you know? You're a pussy. You're a pussy. Come. It's been a while since we've... Come. Come. Come, come, come. Come, 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 come. What's this? Spoop music. For Halloween. Those freaking needles. Those freaking needles. Those freaking needles. I can't, like, the, the shitty thing. The other shitty thing about the internet is I can't even make a fucking custom thumbnail. Because I don't have access. I mean, I can make a custom in e uh, uh, thumbnail, but I can't put celebrities on the thumbnail or anything other than what I already have. It's bullshit. You see? My fucking camera thinks this is a face. It puts a square around the face as it detects. And it thinks this is a face. It's flashing. It's like, oh, there's a face. Janice. Janice. Would you please make me some chicken wings? Janice. I want a chicken wing, Janice. Can you make me chicken wings? Janice, can you make me a chicken wing? Was this a shitty podcast? Every episode is a shitty podcast. Literally every episode sucks my big fat dick. Right, Olive? Um, yeah, you know what, guys, it's, uh, 38 minutes, 38 minute podcast, making them shorter and shorter every week. Look, here's the Della Russo. Once I get internet, okay? Shit's gonna be better. Trust me. It will. I'm just joking about the fact that every episode's shit. I mean, you may agree, but I don't. Okay? But, uh... But, uh... But, uh... But, uh, but, uh... It wasn't so bad. This episode wasn't that bad. Talked about some slivers. Some stuff. Some goofs. And gaffs, as Ethan would say. Um, but, uh, you know, with that being said, uh, that is it for this episode of the Dynamite Gizmo Podcast, episode 132. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you in the next one. Whoops, wasn't supposed to say that. I was, uh, whatever. <laughs> Please like, comment, subscribe. And murder that bell notification. I need you to murder the bell notification. Literally stab it in the throat. Slice, it, slice its jugular. Okay? And then reach in with your fingers and rip apart that bell notification. Thank you. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye Play. Got 
So many cans of Perrier just sitting here. This is my uh, rendition of of uh, Timothy Goes to School theme song. <sighs> Timothy goes to school, and Timothy goes to school. I can't remember. I can't. I'm sorry. I can't remember the lyrics. Why don't you just leave me alone? Oh, why did I even? I didn't even need to. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> 